Okay, looking at my potatoes, I can see the potatoes have been in the ground now for, for about a month and you can see here, they're starting to come up. But what we need to do, and I explained briefly in an earlier video, is we need to soil them up. That's the word I'm gonna use. So when I originally did it, what I did was I, take this root out, read out. What I did was I put them in the trench, put the soil in the middle and on the edge, and then all I was gonna do is pull it back over. So all I'm gonna do today is literally soil it up cover all the shoots up otherwise what will happen is the potatoes start growing and they, they turn green or something like that and they're not edible so it's going to soil it up plus the more you soil it up then what will happen is you're going to get more roots more potatoes so today all i'm going to do is literally just soil it up there we go. i'm going to soil it up just so that the um you still you can just about see some of the uh, some of the green just sticking up a little bit and the reason why I'm doing it with a rake if there's any other weeds in there I'm going to just pull the weeds out as well okay that's, that's uh, another, good, another good reason for doing it with a rake so all that means now okay now that I've raised them up okay so that is going to be where my potatoes are going and that is when I'm going to be my potatoes going so when these get a little bit higher okay I'll take the soil from here put it onto that side put the soil from here onto that side so when this part they start showing again right up the top take the soil from here put it onto there soil from the edge so then at the end it'll have up it'll go down here and then up here because I'm going to keep soiling it up now soil it up for uh, a couple of more uh, months I reckon to go and then that'll be how I do. All right then, keep on watching. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Um, it's a really exciting time for me. Whenever I put my runner beans out, um, it's really, really exciting. I've got my runner beans here. As you can see, some of them are quite a decent length. These are runner beans that I actually planted in April, middle of April, so uh, we've come to the middle of uh, May now and uh, they've gone to a good decent length so that's about three months uh, two two months worth of growth they're about that high so i'm pretty excited but before i put the runner beans up i've got to um make the canes that the runner beans are going to climb up now there's a couple of different ways to do it however i was speaking to one of the um the more experienced gentleman at allotment in, and he's given me a very very good top tip now i'm going to run through what i'm going to do Okay, so I've been down to the local uh, um, gardening centre, I've bought some canes. I should have, and I could have, bought them from the, um, from the allotment association. However, they were closed and sometimes I get a little bit impatient. You can't rush mother nature, but anything else that I can push, I do push. Now, I'm gonna come around here to sort of demonstrate how. Normally, what happens is people normally do the canes like that, okay? Spiral around there, go up there, they have one here, another one along and when they go to pick them you go to pick them and they're all muddled up in here because of gravity the pods are heavy and the pods generally go in the inside here so you end up going round and you can't see them as clear what i'm going to do and this is a top tip okay i'm going to put the canes in and i'm going to have a cross at the bottom here so that when the runner beans spiral around this spiral around this up there and up here the pods are going to be hanging down here okay and then i'm going to be able to come just pick them straight off pick them straight off instead of if they were like this looking for the inside here looking for them here amongst these and putting your hand in like this just pick them straight off so that is what i'm going to be doing now to get these canes in place what i'm going to try and do put them in the ground maybe six or so inches push that in push that in about six or so inches Get about like this type. Now I only bought uh, short canes because they didn't actually have the long canes. What I'm gonna do is temporarily put the structure in place here today and then gonna come back another day and attach these, okay, and perhaps today and make them so long. Therefore, if they're this height, they're a good height to get to, okay, and they'll be a really good height to get to. So I'm gonna do that. Well, first of all, get these in place and uh, Let's see how we go from there. Okay. 
Okay, now that I've got the canes up, I'm really happy, it's nice and sturdy. And like I've said, I am gonna add the additional um, canes on there to make them a lot longer. So what I'm gonna do, I've decided I'm gonna put two, two plants to each base. But today, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've bought uh, one, two, three, four, five, I've got six plants with me today. I've got a few more at home. So I'm gonna put them on, get them covered with a net and then come back probably tomorrow and do that. So I'm gonna put two to each base and I've already got the um, pots in there. And again, one of the tips I gave in the last episode was make sure you give the plants a good watering, okay, before you bring them here. What that will do is that will keep all the, all the soil together as opposed to pulling out and crumbling everywhere, okay? And also it gives the, the opportunity for the plants to actually soak up some moisture because when it gets in there it's going to be disturbed and it's, it's going to be a plant in a different environment so it may take a full couple of days for it just to settle okay okay so i've obviously uh like kneeling on something soft so i've got my soft uh, spongy mat here got a couple of trowels as well so i've said i'm going to put two on each one so I'm going to dig a nice little hole here just beside where the uh where the cane is not into the cane just a nice relatively deepish hole okay there we go dig a hole okay so i've dug a, a nice uh, medium sized hole there grab my plant take out the label i didn't label all of them this is a um, ones with the red runner beans it's telling me i did it in oh i don't want to get my hands dirty i've got a whole heap of other things that i need to do so what we'll do is quickly with some gloves on there we go runner beans give me a little tap pop straight out look at the beautiful roots we've got on there absolutely beautiful make sure there's nothing in there no weeds nothing like that pop the whole thing in there there we go and then just cover it up nicely okay break up any uh, soil near there there we go firmly pat it down there you go. so now that's actually nicely in there what I'm going to do is gently gently wrap this around here really gently sometimes when you're wearing gloves it, it's hard to um, see how much force you're putting on or not putting on take the uh, take the gloves off now with a uh, with a tie, what I'm going to do is very, very, very loosely. Again, I don't want to damage the uh, the stem or anything at all. Just come so loosely, so attach it on there. Just so it's a little bit hooked on there. There we go. Pull that down a bit. So that is now uh, one one done. Effectively, I'm going to do exactly the same thing. Okay. But this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to dig a hole on, uh, let's go this side, okay. Magic tap. There we go. So that will now automatically just climb up there on its own and just keep growing easy as that all i'm going to do is i'm going to do the the remaining ones and then give them a very very good watering okay so now that i've got this this particular one done here i'm going to do the next one and like i said i've got six so i'm going to put two in here two in here and i'm probably going to do the back one and that's it for uh, for today give them a very very good watering after that as well okay so that's all six of them two per cane and then all I've done is slowly tied them up wrapped them around there gone up all that's left to do is give them a quick watering again I'm trying to water more at the base so the roots can get to everything and it's literally more for the base we go. it's actually quite windy and I'm uh, wondering whether or not I should put something around them just to 
protect them a little bit. I may do, I may not. Chances are it's getting late in the evening again, so I may not put anything to protect them. They should be um, big enough now where no flies are going to come and eat them or anything like that, or, um, or no birds. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll just put just a little bit of netting just around just to protect it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching this episode of J Man Can. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, share and subscribe. Tell all of your friends. Um, you know, what time is it? We're in uh, the middle of May. It's 8.30 in the evening. I've um, had really, really good fun today. And I'm pretty excited as well to put my runny beans in and to get my potatoes sorted out as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.